sorry for the late start. I had to make some adjustments to my room and space because Facebook does not do the same camera angles and availability as my phone does. So, welcome back. I'm happy to have you here. And let's go ahead and get started. So, uh, it's chair yoga. And today we're just gonna kind of get all around the body, uh, no specific area, so full body practice. And take a comfortable seat. Make sure your sit bones are grounded, sitting up nice and tall. Feel free to rest your back into your chair. Let your palms rest, palm up or palm down. And then simply close your eyes or soften your gaze. Settle in. Feeling your weight pressing into the chair. Just coming into your breath, acknowledging how you're feeling today, physically and mentally. Maybe do a little check-in. If there's any areas you need to be a little more aware of and cautious with today. Just a few more breaths. And then maybe take a few cleansing breaths. Big inhales through the nose. And then sigh it out. Good. Let's do one more. Turning back to your natural breath. Good. Then on your next inhale, we'll softly open our eyes. Good. And then on our next inhale, we'll inhale, reach the hands up nice. Big, long stretch. And then exhale, release the hands down. Inhale, draw the hands up in front, all the way up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, release them down. Good, just alternating. Inhaling, reaching the arms up out by the sides. And exhaling, release them down. And then inhale, reach the arms long in front, all the way to the ceiling. And then exhale, release them down. Good. Continue moving one more in each direction, as slow or as fast as you like, following the full inhale of your breath. Good. And then just let your hands come down back to your laps. We're going to take the right fingertips to the left side of the head as we draw the right ear towards the right shoulder. And then we're going to press the head into the hand and the hand resists. Then we're going to draw the left shoulder down, getting a nice stretch down the left side of the neck. And it's okay if you're on the opposite side, no worries. And then just breathe here, keeping the activation, pressing the head into the hands. One more breath here. And then gently release, coming back to center. Good, recreating this on the opposite side. So left hand comes to the right side of the head. Left ear to left shoulder. Right ear, sorry, right shoulder draws down. And then we're pressing the head into the hand and the hand presses back. I always like this stretch first thing in the morning, nice and early, because sometimes it feels like my pillow doesn't like my neck, even though it's one of those memory foam ones. I always seem to sleep a little funky. Good, one more breath here. And then gently release. 
Good, Continue on, continuing on with our next stretches. We're just gonna draw the chin down towards the chest, but we wanna stay nice and tall throughout the spine, drawing the shoulders down towards the floor. So you might find a little stretch down the back of the neck, maybe even into the upper shoulders, depending on how tight you are. No slouching here, stay up tall. And then on our next inhale, we'll draw the chin up towards the ceiling. And we're gonna stretch out through the front of the neck by opening and closing the jaw. I like to think about giving myself a little underbite. As I draw the chin up. And feel free to linger if that feels good to you. And then on your next exhale, gently release back to neutral. Good. And then we're going to take the chin over towards the right shoulder. You can draw the left shoulder down. We're doing a cross stretch here. And if this creates any pain or discomfort, remember everything I have here is simply an offering. And you take what feels good to you and what you need today. And then on your next exhale, gently come back through center and over to the opposite side, drawing the right shoulder down, taking the chin over to the left shoulder. Still staying up tall. You can even let those fingertips reach towards the floor if that feels good. Two more breaths here. And gently release back through center. Good. So now we're going to move through and working down. We're getting into the shoulders now. So we're going to shrug the shoulders up towards the ears. Give them a nice little squeeze. And then draw them down. Good. Let's do two more. Shrug them in. Nice squeeze. And then draw them down. And one more. Hug them in. Up towards the ears. Big stretch. And squeeze and then release, drawing them down towards the floor and away from the ears. Good, and then release back to neutral. And then we're gonna move the shoulders in some big circles towards the wall behind you. Just big shoulder rolls and circles as if you were able to draw something with your shoulders. Good, and then we'll reverse the direction. And just a couple more. I know this direction feels weird. And then we'll release. Good. On our next inhale, we're going to take our palms out in front of us and open up. Nice big stretch, broad across the collarbones. And then on our exhale, we're going to take the back of the hands together, rounding the spine like we do for cat pose. I'll turn to the side so you can see me. So inhale, open it up. Exhale, reach those fingertips and around. Oh, big stretch, good. Continue on moving at your own pace or just follow along here with me. All right, we'll do three more because they just feel so good. Nice big opening. Exhale, close it down, bringing the backs of the palms together. Good. Drawing that shoulder down and back. 
Good. Actively pressing into the arm. The arm resists. Still breathing. And then on your next inhale, we'll reach that arm back out to the side and then release it down. Good. Left arm reaches out. Exhale, bring it across the body. Hand comes to the tricep. Plug that arm into the shoulder socket. Left fingertips actively reaching over to the right. Shoulder actively drawing down. And we have a push-pull into the hand and tricep. Staying up nice and tall through the spine. Don't forget your posture. How's your breath this morning? Are you breathing deeply or shallow? Do we feel rushed? Or are we going at a good pace? How's it going? Sing 
single plane. Good, one more. Good, and then from there feel free to move around any other way that feels good to you. So maybe that means some big torso circles. Maybe that means a little tail wagging. Maybe you just want to get a little funky with your shoulders. Whatever it may be, feel free to follow along with me or do your own thing. No worries, just taking a couple breaths here to get any other wriggles or kinks out. Got a couple of pops. Good, and one more breath. So make sure you've gone in both directions. Good, and then we'll come back to neutral, nice and tall. All right, so See if you cross body extension or stretch here. We're going to extend the left foot out nice and long. Point the toes. Reach the right fingertips up. And then exhale, release. Good. Switching to the opposite side. The left hand reaches up. Right toes point out. Big stretch. Good. And then continue moving with your own pace. Big stretch, alternating sides, the leg and hand. Feel free to move as fast or as slow as you'd like to and linger anywhere that feels good. Remember, this is your time. This is the moment you take all for yourself. Uh, just a few more. Make sure you're breathing with your stretch. Good. Last time on the right side. And last time on the left side. Good. And then we'll meet all back in neutral. All right. So typically I'll have my classes heel toe their toes out. But today I'm going to change that up a little bit. So we're going to take some big monster steps. So we're going to take a big step out wide, one foot, and a big step out wide with the opposite foot. So this sets us up for our goddess or our warrior poses here, just a little bit with our wide stance. But today we're going to start with some side stretches and side angle. So we're going to bring our left forearm to the top of the left thigh. And I want you to play around with this today. So we can do a kind of what I like to call a lawnmower start. So the right hand reaches up, we pull and peel open, as if you're starting a lawnmower. So once again, that's peeling it open here. Or our arm starts behind. We're pressing in firmly with the left forearm, and that top hand comes up and over. Good. So you have your choice. Play around with that entry level into our side angle. And then we'll play around with the opposite side. So just getting a little movement. A little, a little effort here. So lawnmower start. Uh, think of peeling open the chest. Once again, we'll try that again. Good. Or all the way up and over. What feels good for your shoulder? And then from there, we've tried both sides and both ways here. We're just going to alternate using the breath. And I'm going to alternate both ways, just so you see how I'm alternating side to side. But you can stay with the same entry if that feels good to you. Good. So make sure that we're moving with the breath. Staying long throughout the side body, reaching those top fingertips far as if they're trying to 
run away from the rest of your body. We're pressing our feet down firmly into the mat or floor. We're pressing firmly through the down form. Finding space, pulling that shoulder away from the ear. Good. One more to each side. So last time here on the left. And last time here on the right. And then we'll come back up to upright. Whew, I don't know about you, but that created a little bit of sweat. That was good. All right, so you can heel toe or big monster step your feet back in. And we're going to get to standing today. So I'm going to turn my chair, but feel free to keep your chair right where it's at. I just want you to be able to see me better. All right, so we're going to come to facing the front of the chair. We're going to move into a little bit of a forward fold. So I want your feet about hip distance apart and underneath your hips. Okay, we can keep a slight bend into our knees always. We don't have to, we don't want to lock them out. So a slight bend, and then we're gonna bring our hands to the chair. So for us, this is our tabletop here. My wrists are underneath my shoulders as best as possible. And my ankles are underneath my knees and my knees underneath my hips. So I'm going to bring my forearms down to the chair and just let my head go. Maybe shake it yes or no. Feel free to take a nice big bend into the knees here if that feels good for you. And then just shake the head yes or no. If you'd like, you can keep the chair here for stability and bring your hands all the way to the floor if that's available to you today. And then just breathe, letting the tension go from the head, neck, and shoulders. And then on the next inhale, we'll press back into the chair with our hands, elongate the spine, draw the crown of the head towards the front or back of your chair. Ground down the feet, claw the chair with your hands. And then exhale, release once again, forward fold. Keeping some weight into the hands here, but letting the head, neck, and shoulders go as much as possible. Maybe sway side to side a little bit if that feels good to you. Or come back to our yes and no. And then once again, inhale up. Drawing the crown of the head towards the front of the room. Nice lengthening throughout the spine. And then on your next exhale, gently release all the way back to your forward fold. <sighs> One full breath in and out here. And then I want you to slowly roll. Let your hands stay heavy onto the chair. Slowly rolling. Maybe even... Bring your hands to the fronts of your shins as we rise. And come all the way back up to standing. Good. All right, from here we're gonna come back around to the back of our chair. But we're just gonna stand off to the side. We'll come to the right side first. So we're on the right side of the chair, left hand is on the back of the chair, giving us a little stability. And we're going to bend the right heel. So if reaching your leg, is not available today and you can grab a hold of your pants or you have a little strap nearby feel free to do so we can also bring that foot up to the wall behind us and press the toes in so wherever they're at okay so i'm going to take a hold of my ankle you can also take a hold of the top of the foot if you have a hold of the foot today we're going to bring the knees in line with each other and i'm pulling my heel in towards my bottom let me come to the side just so you can see. But I'm actively pressing my foot into my hand or my ankle into my hand and the hand resists. So it's an active quad stretch here. <clears throat> Staying nice and tall throughout the spine, drawing the heel in towards the bottom, keeping the knees in line with each other, slight bend into the left knee if you need it. 
My knees tend to hyperextend, so I will use a bend in my knees always. Good. And one more breath here. And then we'll gently release and come over to the opposite side. So we're going to come to the left side of the chair. Right hand comes to the chair. Left foot reaches up. Remember, we have our other options here. Hand in the foot and foot in the hand. Ooh, I don't know about you, but my left side is a bit more tight than the right. Yeah. And then remember to breathe. Staying tall, keeping your knees in line with each other. Actively pressing the foot or ankle into the hand, and the hand resists. super sturdy non-skid surface, you could end up pushing your chair away from you and that will prevent us from getting a stretch. So we're bringing the ball of the foot up towards the back of the chair and we're just leaning in. You see my left heel is coming away to get me a deeper stretch down the back of my calf. And don't worry, your foot may not be this high. I have super stretchy calves. I think it's probably the most awkward stretched out area of my body. Um, but it can be down lower, but it's fine. It doesn't have to be this high. Just as long as we're feeling a stretch in here, maybe even up into the hamstring a little bit, just depending on where you're tight. All right. So just breathe into this. Just a couple more breaths for our calf stretch here. Good. Then on your next exhale, we'll gently release come to the opposite side. Good. So left ball of the foot presses into the back of the chair. Nice stretch down the left side. Just breathing. Good. Two more breaths. chair. Bringing our ankles underneath the knees, knees underneath the hips, hands still on the chair. We can also come to the wall if that's more comfortable. For me, since I So just pressing firmly through the balls of the feet, lifting both heels up and away from the floor as high as possible without any pain or discomfort, but maybe a good stretch or good muscle engagement. Good. So keep going. We want to do five more. Okay. So five, pausing just for a moment at the top, four, three, Two, one, and done. Good. All right. Take a little wiggle of those legs and ankles. Whew. All right. Now we're going to try alternating. So we're going to press through. I'll turn this way so you can see me. We're going to press through the left. But I'm not activating my right. It's just coming along with me. And then the right. See that one's a little bit lower. We're just coming along for the ride. And lifting up. Just play around with it a little bit, maybe come side side. 
maybe you're like, you know what, that's not working for me, I'm gonna do both. And that's okay too. Just a couple, just feeling the difference in between each foot, maybe even bend a knee. Maybe come back to the top, maybe come all the way to the toes. Alright, that's enough playing around with our calves today. Alright, so we're going to stay at the back of our chair, but we're going to take our big monster steps out. So my legs are long, so I'm taking them a little bit wider than my sticky mat, but they could be at least as wide as your mat. So we're going to come into some goddess squats with a little support from our chair. So the toes are pointing away. We're staying long to start. Core is engaged, long throughout the spine. And then I'm just thinking about uh, how a ballerina comes to the bar. We're just going to bend into our goddess squat. And you notice I'm pulling my toes away because I'm pressing through the big toe mounds and the heel. So I think about three corners of the foot as I lower and exhale and inhale and press up. We're trying to keep the knees from passing over the ankles, sending the booty back. Just coming into our goddess. And pressing back up. Good, nice and easy. Well, let's do four more times. So four, three, two, and one. And pause at the bottom. Five, four, three, two, one and good. Press up through the feet. Heel, toe, or monster step back in to where your feet are underneath the hips. Good. Take a breath here. That's a lot of work. Focusing into this cast and then getting on into our squats. So maybe take one hand over your chest or belly. Close your eyes. Take a few full breaths in and out. So I know at least one of you is holding your breath. Good. And then we'll come back to the back of our chair. So we're going to start on the left side of our chair. So left foot is going to be forward, right foot is back. So we're setting up for our warrior one pose first. So if I'm facing the front of my mat, my right toes would be facing the front right corner, left knee over the left ankle, and we want our feet about hip distance apart. Right toes towards front right corner, left knee over the left ankle, hips turned towards the front of the mat, right hand still stays on the chair for support if needed, or is right there if you want to grab on. Okay, on your next inhale, Left fingertips reach up for the ceiling, but I'm not letting the shoulder go along with it. I'm hugging that in, staying broad across the collarbones. Core is engaged. Good. And I think about hugging that belly button in and activating those abdominals. Long throughout the spine and gaze this forward. Maybe come a little bit deeper in that front knee. And breathe. Nice, strong warrior poses. We're all making it through. We're all doing a great job. And then on the next exhale, we're going to release the top hand to the hip, straighten the front leg, and hinge forward. Now remember, if you tend to hyperextend in the knee, keep a small bend as we hinge forward. And we want to stay long throughout the spine. Crown of the head reaches towards the front. You might find the stretch throughout the hamstring, maybe even into the spine. Feet stay exactly where they were, pressing firmly into the floor or mat. And then on your next inhale, we'll inhale, rise. We're going to turn that back foot parallel to the wall behind you. And the left heel can inter intersect the instep of the back foot, or we can take that foot a little bit wider. So really anywhere from here 
to here is still good and safe, depending on what's good for your body and what works best for you. Now you notice my hips are more open. I'm grounding down through the back blade of the foot. Left knee is over the left ankle, and then I'm going to release those left fingertips out long. And remember, I can always release the back hand as well, if that feels good to me. And I'm confident with my balance. So gaze is over the left fingertips. I'm long throughout the spine, core is engaged, pressing firmly through the left ball of the foot and the outside blade of the right foot. breathing right here with me? Are you thinking about other things that have to go on today? If you are, just bring it right back here. Bring your gaze to those fingertips. Think about the breath coming in and out of the body. Thinking about all the points of contact between you, the chair, and your mat. And then on your next exhale, release that left hand to the hip. We'll press back into the right toes. We'll press off, taking a couple steps forward or one big step forward. Good. All right, let's come to the opposite side. All right, so left hand on the chair, right foot forward, left foot back, facing the front left hand corner of your mat. Nice bend into the right knee. So the right knee is over the right ankle, but not past. Hips are turned towards the front of the room. We're long throughout the spine, broad across the collarbones. Shoulder blades are hugging, right fingertips reach up for the ceiling. Good, grounding down through that right and left ball of the foot. Standing firm and strong. Finding a little bit of that inner strength today. Breathing nice, full, deep breaths. Good. Give me two more breaths here. And then on your next exhale, right hand comes to the right hip. We're going to straighten that front leg and hinge forward. Staying long throughout the spine, only going as far forward as our spine will stay long. So if we tend to bend forward and we round throughout the spine, we want to back out of the pose. Just so we're feeling a nice stretch, maybe into the hamstring, keeping a a little bend into the knee and staying long through the spine, broad across the collarbones. Hand in here, stay here on the hip. Good, give me one more full breath in and out. And then on your next inhale, we'll slowly rise all the way back up to standing. Good, we'll bend back into the right knee and open up with the left foot. Remember, instep to heel or a little bit wider towards the left, creating a bigger base. Good, so staying up tall, torso is now turned towards the side, but we want to make sure that that big toe is visible because that means that our knee is in the right spot. Other toes are more hidden. And then inhale, reach the right fingertips up nice and long. Gaze out over the right fingertips. Keep your core tight and engaged, but the lungs and breath fully moving. Broad across the collarbones. Keeping our mind right here with me today. Being mindful in our practice. Two more full breaths in and out. Find that strength, those points of contact, that alignment in the breath. Good, on your exhale, gently release that right hand down. Big monster step to the front or a couple of steps. Good, all right, let's try that once again on either side. Ooh, this is just flying by, isn't it? 
All right, left foot forward, right foot back, setting up that warrior one. You know what to do. Right toes for the front right corner, left knee over the left ankle, left hand reaches up towards the ceiling. Strong warrior pose, broad across the collarbones. Core is engaged. Good. On the next exhale, release the left hand towards the left hip. Straighten the left leg and hinge forward for a pyramid. Good. Crown of the head, reaching long towards the front of your mat. Micro bend into the left knee. Squeezing those thighs towards each other while grounding down through the feet. Good. On the next inhale, gently rise. Open up the back foot for warrior two. Left fingertips reach long, broad across the collarbone, long through the spine, gaze over the left fingertips, squeezing those thighs in towards each other, grounding down to the left big toe, right blade of the outside of the right foot, grounding down. And then on your next exhale, gently release the left hand to the left hip. And maybe this time, instead of stepping forward, we'll step back. Good. So taking a few steps or one big monster step. Good. Coming around to the opposite side of the chair. Right foot forward. Left foot back. Left toes face the front left corner of the mat. Nice bend into the right knee. Hips are turning towards the front of the room, but remember, if, they, if they're a little off to the side, that's okay too. We just want to be moving, activating, and engaging in this direction. On your next inhale, right fingertips reach up for the ceiling, warrior one. Long spine, core is engaged, breath is strong. And then on your next exhale, release that right hand to the hip. Straighten the right leg and hinge from the hips. Crown of the head reaches long in front, long throughout the spine. Micro bend into the right knee if you need it. Good. On the next inhale, rise all the way up to standing. Turn to the outside leg of the left foot. Bend back into that right knee. Right fingertips reach out long, stay long through the spine, engage the core, gaze out over the right fingertips. Are we still here with me? Are we still breathing? Are we still strong? Good. On your next exhale, release that right hand down, and then maybe step back couple times and come back up to standing. Good. All right. We've made it to our balance today. So we're going to add in those calf raises with our balance. So come to standing behind your chair. You know what? I'm going to face it this way. Good. And we're going to press into the balls of the feet. We're going to keep one hand on the chair. We can also come to the wall for this. One hand on the chair, and one hand reaches up towards the ceiling. Good. If you're feeling strong and confident here, we can always add in the opposite hand. Balancing up on our tiptoes here. Five, four, three, two. I'm getting wobbly. One, and then release. Good job. All right, let's try that with the opposite hand. So if you had one hand up, we started with the right and we're gonna move on to the left. So press back into those toes. Left hand comes up. Good, you can stay right here if you're feeling good about it today. <clears throat> we can reach the right fingertips to match the left. Good, and wherever you are, one hand or two, both feet pressing firmly into the mat. <clears throat> Focus your gaze. Your touristy on something not moving. And three, two, one, and release it all down. Woo, that was some work for those calves. Shake it out a little bit. 
Good job. All right. Let's come back around and have a seat in our chair. And then one of my favorite poses, which there's so many that are my favorite, but this one particularly speaks to my hips. We're going to take that right ankle over to the top of the left thigh. So sitting up nice and tall, we can stay right here. We want to keep our hands away from the knees, but you can rest your left hand right here at the top of the right ankle just to give you a little reminder to keep this active and pressing in. And we can take the other hand to the center of the right thigh and gently press in here if we need a little extra or we can stay right here where we're at. Today for me, I don't even need to hinge forward. I'm already feeling it in my hips. It's probably because I played three hours of Just Dance on my Nintendo Switch yesterday with my kids. So that was fun and I'm feeling it today. So if you're like me, we can stay right where we're at or we can add in that little extra pressure into the center of the thigh or we can hinge forward just a little bit till we find the level of stretch we're looking for here. Good, wherever you're at, wherever you've chosen, simply breathe. Be with the stretch, the breath, the sound of my voice, the contact between you and the chair or floor. And on your next exhale, we'll gently release that tension and we'll close the space between the thighs. Good. So we're moving into a twist here. So we want to make sure that our sit bones are nice and grounded. We're long through the spine. And then we're going to turn from the low rib over towards the right leg. So if you actually have the left leg on top, we're going to turn towards the left. So whichever leg you have on top, we're going to turn in that direction. Left hand comes to the outside of the right thigh and back hand comes to the back of the chair. And be gentle with your spine. We haven't done any twists today. This is just a little finishing off, getting in all those little twists and turns and stretches. So no forcing, just gently easing in here. Good, give me two more breaths. Make sure those sit bones are grounded, and then we'll repeat on the opposite side. So give that left ankle a little assistance up to the top of that right thigh. Sit up nice and tall. You can press right hand into the ankle, left hand can go to the center of the thigh. We can hinge forward. Just recreating whatever you did on the opposite side. Good, staying nice and tall, staying with the breath, and staying with the moment. Make sure you're staying active with that ankle, long through the spine, whether you're hinging forward or staying tall. One more breath here. And then on your next exhale, we'll gently release that muscle activation, close the space between the thighs. Sit up nice and tall, feel those sit bones grounded into the chair. And then we're going to twist from the low rib over towards the left. Right hand comes to the top of the left thigh. Left hand comes to the hip or back of the chair. Gaze is over to the left or over the left shoulder if you'd like a little extra. Good. Two more breaths here. Being nice and kind to our spine. Gentle twist. gently release back to center. Good. All right. Getting set up for our Savasana. We'll take our arms long. Point those toes. Big full body stretch. Maybe even hook the thumbs if that feels good. And then exhale. Release everything down. Find that comfy spot in your chair. <clears throat> Let your hands rest palm up or palm down on the tops of your thighs. <clears throat> Let your shoulders stack over your hips. 
If it's comfortable to you, let your back press into the chair. Feel your feet pressing into the floor or mat. And then just begin to settle in. Feeling all the muscle tension release from the toes and feet. Relaxing the calves and thighs. Settling the hips and torso. Feeling your shoulders be heavy away from your ears. Your hands heavy into your thighs. Releasing all the muscle tension from your neck and face. Relaxing all the small muscles in the mouth and back of the throat. Gently letting the jaw part and the tongue rest. And enjoy your savasana. back to the fingers and toes. Maybe swirl the wrists and ankles. And if it feels good to you, you can stretch your arms up and overhead. Point the toes. One last big stretch. And then exhale. Release everything down. Bring your hands to heart center. I greatly appreciate your presence today. I hope you all have a wonderful day and find that strength that carries you through each and every day. Strengthen yourself, strengthen your family. Namaste.